Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. After promising there'd be no changes, the Attorney General and the Premier have suddenly decided to change wholesale pricing for alcohol in this province. It sounds dry, Honourable Speaker, but these changes are threatening small businesses across the province in every sector of the industry while they wait for the attorney to push the button. Everybody knows there are serious problems with this reform. In fact, the Vancouver Sun's wine columnist just called this initiative, quote, a wholesale mess, unquote. Can the Attorney General explain why she seems intent on creating instability in a very important industry in British Columbia? Yeah, yeah. Madam Attorney? Madam Speaker, if members of this House will know the liquor policy review undertaken by the Parliamentary Secretary for Liquor, who we wish well and hope that we see back in the House soon, uh, was one of the most successful public engagements that government has ever embarked upon. It <laughs> received wide-scale response and enormous consumer interest. The uh, question of wholesale price, of course, relates to the issue of a level playing field. There's been extensive consultation with industry, um, webinars put on by our staff. People understand the, the, this concept now for the 1st of April, and it's a good system that levels the playing field for everyone. But, Madam Speaker, it is too bad that the members opposite can't get on board with the Liquor Policy Review. Perhaps they don't like that there's liquor sales now at farmers' markets. Perhaps there's not, they're not happy that pubs and, and, and the legions, their local legions, can have kids in there joining their parents for dinner. They may not be happy with those changes, Madam Speaker, but British Columbians you, are. Honourable well, Speaker, you can see why industry is frustrated. The minister has no idea what she's talking about. We're talking about wholesale price changes, which has nothing to do with farm. <laughs> the minister's rush changes have been a disaster for small wineries in this province. It's gone so far that a small winery, Okanagan Crush Pad, actually apologized to their customers for the minister's actions. They said the Attorney General had created great uncertainty that could mean, quote, life or death, unquote, for their small business. Does that sound like good consultation, Honourable Speaker? Why is the Attorney General intent on undermining small family-owned businesses in this province? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker. have been in constant communication with the wine industry, Madam Speaker, who does a terrific job in British Columbia in building an industry and building a wonderful product which is appreciated through British Columbia, through Canada and indeed around the world, and we thank them for that. Madam Speaker, the, uh, the uh, regime for uh, local British Columbia wine is only improved uh, by the constant uh, interest in government in supporting the BC wine industry in terms of, we have a wonderful industry and we want to tell people that. Madam Speaker, I know that the members opposite are unhappy. I think they're probably unhappy with the, with the fact that there's a happy hour now, that you can change your liquor prices during the day. This liquor policy review, the changes to liquor policy in British Columbia are positive for consumers, they're positive for producers, you, and they're positive for British Columbia. Hey. Member for Victoria, Beacon Hill. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, many in the industry suspect that the government's rushed reforms are being driven by a secret Ernst & Young report on liquor pricing. Now, Madam Speaker, I say secret because we've FOI'd that report, and so have many others in the industry, and the government has flatly refused to release it. It looks to everyone in the industry like this government is actually taking advice from an accounting firm, a secret report they won't release, instead of relying on advice from BC's wine, spirits, and beer industry. So my question is very straightforward to the Attorney General. Why is this report being kept secret? 
Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, on the 1st of April, we do indeed begin the new wholesale pricing regime. That means, Madam Speaker, that instead of having a series of discounts, price, price off, and so on, a very complicated system, what we have now is a single system that applies to all purchasers. So every purchaser, whether you be a, a, an LRS, a, a rural agency store, a government store, you will all pay the same wholesale price for your, your liquor, your wine, your beer, your spirits. Uh, everyone will pay the same on April 1st. That's the change that's coming. That level playing field has been sought by industry for some time now. That's what we are delivering, Madam Speaker. Victoria Beacon Hill on a supplemental. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. A very straightforward uh, question to the minister. Will the minister release the report? Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, as I mentioned, we have been in very close contact working with the industry both on the retail, on hospitality, on different forms of retail. We are working closely with the industry, Madam Speaker. People understand. Our stakeholders understand the changes that are coming on April 1st. They understand that the, the overall price of the product will be roughly the same on April 1st as it is on March 31st, but minor, minor adjustments, but roughly the same price. They understand that, Madam Speaker. They've asked for a level playing field. This is the level playing field, Madam Speaker, along with all the other changes that we are making in, in uh, the liquor industry in British Columbia to support consumers, to support producers in British Columbia. Thank you, People are very supportive of these changes, Madam Speaker. As I said, largest public engagement government has ever entered into. Thank you, Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Well, only the Liberals would think a happy hour that actually led to increasing the price of beer would make people happy. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, BC's public liquor stores don't regularly stock Okanagan Crush Pads wine, but private wine stores in BC do. They carry their wines year-round, and those sales help the, uh, the winery stay in business. But under this government's reforms, John Claridis, a local uh, wine seller in my constituency on Davie Street for over 20 years, is now being told his license is worthless. If he wants to upgrade to a new cold beer and wine store, he'll have to close his store and leave the community because there's already a cold beer and wine store across the street. Why is the Attorney General telling a strong local businessman that he has to close down his business? Members, members, the chair will hear the answer and the question. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, of course, I totally reject the proposition in the question. Uh, we do like to support all of our retail people in British Columbia. And Madam Speaker, the, uh, as I said, the wholesale price will apply to everyone, whether you be a wine store, a, a, a private liquor store, a rural store, or a government store, they, everybody is paying the same price. This is, this is the piece that, of work that's changing on the 1st of April. This is at the same time, Madam Speaker, along with allowing some liquor outlets to open in grocery stores. Imagine. We're going to allow wine on shelves of grocery stores. These changes... These are the changes, Madam Speaker, that, that uh, consumers in British Columbia have asked for. These are the changes that government is making. It is very positive Thank British you, Columbia, Minister. very well received, Madam Speaker. Member for Kootenai West. Well, BC wineries across the province certainly aren't feeling the love and support that the Attorney General is talking about. Alan Marine Hope, who own and operate Skimmer Hone Winery and Vineyard in Creston, say the Attorney General's changes have been very poorly rolled out and impossible to understand. They say, and I quote, an apology for this blunderous situation is owed to all stakeholders. Will the Attorney General take their advice 
and the advice of the people across the industry slow down, actually really consult transparently with the wineries, and get this done right. Madam Attorney. Madam Speaker, the um, House should know that government has consulted extensively with the wine industry. It's an extremely important industry in British Columbia, and we all appreciate, I bet pretty much everybody in this House appreciates the products made by the BC wine industry. They are fantastic products, and they are enjoyed in, in British Columbia, as I said, and they are enjoyed around the world because they're terrific prize-winning products produced by wineries in British Columbia. But, Madam Speaker, we in government support those wineries. We have, have consulted them regularly throughout the changes that are being made. They are continued to be supported in British Columbia because they do such a great job for us. These, along with all the other changes that we're making, Madam Speaker, to improve service, to improve quality, to improve uh, customer uh, satisfaction for liquor in British Columbia. These are very good changes, Madam Speaker.